Jerry Royce Live Worldwide Podcast. Hey, it's your girl Patrice Jackson, aka Miss Savvy Pro, and you're listening to the Christian Party Line Friday nights on Jerry Royce Live. When I was a child, I spoke as a child. I understood as a child. I thought as a child. But when I became a man, I put away childish things. For now, we see through a glass dimly, but then face to face. Now I know in part, but then shall I know, even as also I am known. They got me looking through these foggy mirrors. I'm getting older and my age still flipping these pages seem clearer. As I'm walking through these streets that I used to mock deep in, I'm stuck staring at the house I once grew up in. The images resurface, so much to the place that hurts. I never thought that I'd survive these childhood curses. Look at my pops beating mama down merciless. How can I hold back the pain as I'm writing these verses? Hold up, beat my older brother, he was so mistreated. He came back a wrestling champ when I'm but daddy didn't say I'm proud of you, you did great Instead he took his trophy, broke it and beat him for being late He ran away and never looked back He found love in the homies, I don't blame him for that I'm glad he's feeling like my way of escape was getting nearer Cause it's hard trying to see what your life's like through foggy mirrors to see me and so I'm looking at you cause I know that you're perfect as for me I have this residue it's hard to shake these memories of what my eyes see, broken homes, jail cells they all in HD penitentiaries have me feeling like it was meant for me but I'm glad I met the one who had the currency and paid the debt for me and so I'm scot free praying for my enemies while telling them to follow me, I'm on my Shawshank redemption, I got the way out I'm living life on the other side picture me now, I look around yeah. And what I see is false identity Thinking that the liquor and the weed Will give them what they need Chicks trying to chase a man Dudes trying to chase the money Kids rocking to these videos Looking up the dummies As the time passes I can feel the Lord is getting nearer But until then we're looking at life Through foggy mirrors Before I wake, I pray the Lord my soul to take. First things first, I want all the above. I can't believe it daily. He gives me all of the love. The way it is in most cases now, we need to repent. Compassion develops and grows when it's heaven sent. I'm going to speak on him. Now, I hope you can hear it. I walk with him, talk with him. Now we met in the spirit. I shook his hand and he said, this the way to be a man. His son defeated death. I left for prints in the sand. Watch me as smoke clears now created in piles. Eternal life to live and die and still crack a smile. The promise death for me and you now, we're living for. I got bad news for the enemy. Storm his head through the floor. Left behind, homie. Never attempt vacation. Heaven's movie thugs matching. Holding your salvation. Permanently stressed out now for you and me. Prayers from like rivers moving down blocks endlessly. I pray for everybody hoping to hear that voice, man. The one that paralyzes you from here down, boy. I pray for everybody. Hustles need prayer too. I pray for everybody. Hustles need prayer too. I pray for everybody hoping to hear that voice, man. The one that paralyzes you from here down, boy. I pray for everybody. Hustles need prayer too. I pray for everybody. Hustles need prayer too. It's bad on the other side. 
outside watching thugs cry. He is lovers who walk in it as it never dies. It was written in the world once bland like you and me. Disciples and sheep creep to his voice constantly. John 10 never reigns with pain on a name. Not a respect of persons for you. He do the same. His arm wide open spread deep like your block. This press covers you. The many bullets to a clock. One blood, one flesh together teaching me. A broken covenant without Jesus. Married to the street. Walk by faith to the altar. Mr. and Mrs. Smith. Anointed his voice can't be now the greatest gift you can ask for it now in John 16 23 catch it every last church blessing your family proud liquor turn to be blessed then place it on your whim plus with aroma can't awake you from a coma now i pray for everybody hoping to hear that voice man the one that paralyzes you from here down boy i pray for everybody hustles need prayer too i pray for everybody hustles need prayer too i pray for everybody hoping to hear that voice man the one that paralyzes you from here down boy I pray for everybody. Hustles need prayer too. I pray for everybody. Hustles need prayer too. Anything is what some say, for he know the plans that won't change every day. Predestined for many lessons for you block to prosper. 29th chapter, 11th verse, ready to lock your crib before you was born. Now he sets you apart. I seen a man cry even after God's own heart. Until a man dies, he holds pride and righteousness. You can't talk to police where you permanently rest. Many chosen to represent now what they holding. They keep the truth smoking, ain't no joking. With your mouth swollen, argue murder. If you searching for what is heard, bury your flesh, don't test. Now one is a was the word drive by and by down look at me throw my hands up high new creations died and came back and don't ask why bring them out bring them out no doubt i got to bring them make the money get clout now sow it in the kingdom i pray for everybody hoping to hear that voice man the one that paralyzes you from here down boy i pray for everybody hustles need prayer too i pray for everybody hustles need prayer too i pray for everybody hoping to hear that voice man the one that paralyzes you from here down boy I pray for everybody. Hustles need prayer too. I pray for everybody. Hustles need prayer too. Hustle. You are listening to Drew Orsini Worldwide Podcast. Hustles need prayer too. I pray for everybody. Hustles need prayer too. Hustle. Yeah. Yeah, yeah, you do that. Hustle. Hustles need prayer too. I pray for everybody. Hustles need prayer too. That's right, as Dwayne Culpepper, a.k.a. the Corinth. That's right, he was on last night with Late Night with Jervis Live and Paula G. All right, let's hold back, Robot. See, Robot been missing, missing this. But we be back now. Batman is back in the in the saddle. All right, we got an awesome show, Next Man Up, with Dr. Paul Kelly, the moderator. And before Dr. Kelly come on, we want to congratulate Dr. Kelly. Congratulations. Oh, somebody got the show on. All right. We want to congratulate Dr. Kelly. For his accreditation as an online Bible school. And he know I'll be talking things that do exist, so I'm talking Bible college. <laughs> Dr. Kelly, what's going on, sir? You on the line? Hey, hey, good morning, Dr. Jerry Royce. How are you doing this morning, <laughs> sir? Awesome, doctor. We're going to have an awesome, powerful, hey, powerful show tonight. I mean, not tonight. Hallelujah. <laughs> see, Batman, you, see, Batman's still up from yesterday, so it's still night. <laughs> so everybody feeling. That's all right. <laughs> <laughs> all right, Doc, let me go ahead and turn it over to you, sir. It's your house now. Praise. Amen. Amen. Good morning. Good morning, Dr. Jerry Royce. Amen. We thank you for those acknowledgments. And most importantly, we invite uh, everyone. Jerry, we live. Go ahead and pray. We are live, sir. All yours. Praise God. Join us in the uh, prayer nation, and thank you for joining us on this powerful, powerful show. Hey, man, next man up, we are going to go into prayer, and we're going to introduce our powerful panel. And once again, thank you to Dr. Jerry Royce, Positive Power 21.org, Worldwide Music Vision. Join us in prayer. Father God, we thank you, Lord, for this blessed day. And yes, Lord. Thank you, Father, in the name of Jesus. We thank thank you, Jesus. you, God. Thank you for these beautiful men of God, these powerful men of yes. God. We thank you for their love. And, oh, God, we thank you for their sacrifice on this morning. And not only that, God, we thank you for their spiritual leadership 
Oh, God, we thank you, Master, in more ways than one. And, Master, we thank you for every listener, every viewer. We thank you for the men and women who are serving our country. And most importantly, we thank you, God, for Positive Power 21.org, Worldwide Media Vision, Jerry Royce. Thank you for his spirit. Thank you for his vision. And, oh, God, we ask you to bless Apostle Thomas Morrison on this morning, John E. Ross. And we thank you, God, for their their sacrifice. Thank you for their love. Thank you for their work and their service in the community. And we thank you for all the men of Next Man Up Summit, God. And God, we ask a special vision for the men and women of God also around the world who are standing in discipleship, God. Again, Father, this is our prayer. We thank you. We adore you. In Jesus' name, we pray. Amen. 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 Good morning. Hallelujah. 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 Good morning. Good morning. Good morning, (laughs) listeners. Good morning. morning. Amen. (laughs) Amen. (laughs) Once again, we welcome all the listeners and viewers to Power Positive Power Twenty One dot org Worldwide Media. We thank you. We thank each and one of them. Thank each and one of our listeners, every one of them, wherever they are, the men and women around the world. And we are ready. First, first and foremost, gentlemen, we want to acknowledge our next man up honoree, Dwayne God. Amen. Just give him a shout out. Amen. Amen. Dwayne God. Praise God. Hallelujah. Thank him for his contribution. Yes, sir. Hallelujah. Praise God. Good morning, Thomas Morrison, Minister John E. Ross. Praise God. We're gonna we got a powerful topic. We have a very powerful topic on this morning, gentlemen. I'm gonna get right to this powerful subject, Amen. Spiritual leadership, Amen. The example or we should say spiritual leadership and empowerment for the most part. Uh Mr. Dwayne, I'm sorry, I got Dwayne God on my mind, praise God. Thomas <laughs> Morrison. Speak to us. Sir. What's going on in Apostle Thomas Morrison? I speak with this gentleman often, nation. I love this guy, <laughs> man. This guy got a powerful spirit. Praise God. Mr. Amen. Amen. Your mind, Doc. <laughs> <laughs> Dr. Paul Kelly, Jerry Royce, Amen. my brothers in Christ, and in this fight against Satan and all of his evil, wicked things that he's doing. We're going to tell him, you're going to step back, Jack, because God's yeah. soldiers is running this thing. Amen. Hallelujah. Right. Amen. I just want to thank y'all for having me on the podcast this morning. Uh, Mr. Ron, so God bless you. Um, I Thomas is doing well. Um, I actually was um, sitting here um, thinking about um, spiritual leadership. Spiritual mm-hmm. leadership. That is a very, very huge topic. That's a great topic. It's not enough of it uh, in our communities. Um, I I pray that a lot of our our men and women of God step up to spiritual leaders. And obviously, uh, everyone's not chosen uh, for that for that responsibility in that position, but at the same time, being a part of the body of Christ, I feel and believe that we are all chosen to be leaders, be it in our household, our communities, amongst our children, um, in, in our community for the most part, with, with a lot of the different things that are going on amongst the kids. Uh, a lot of folks that know of me uh, know that I am definitely, definitely, definitely a true uh, soldier in Christ Jesus, and when it comes to reconciling these young teenagers that are you know, caught up in the in into the the drugs and the gangs and the different things in the world that that are trying to take them. I'm fighting to pull them back and show them how powerful God is and what He's done in my life. Um, because I was one of them young teenagers once upon a time. Um, so to be a spiritual leader today in my life um, is reconciling these young people and trying to be an example and a servant onto these people to empower them to show them their value. It's kind of like the uh, the Youth Summit program that we've been talking about, you know, the Youth okay. Summit program, um, it, it's actually about uh, showing these young teenagers the value in their talents that God has given them. Um, and a lot of these young teenagers can become, to start to absorb into being leaders once they realize the value that they have once they realize what God has done for them and what Jesus is doing in their life and how he's keeping them, even though we go through a lot of hard times and ups and downs, you know, we still, we still go through the struggle. 
Um, the struggle never stops. The fight never stops. But, you know, when, when Jesus is with you and God is with you and you're on his side, there's nothing that's going to take you because he won't let it. Um, a lot of the yeah. spiritual leaders, we're not, we're not emphasizing, you know, how, how important it is for these young people to really feel loved and cared for. Um, I was reading in First Corinthians um, earlier this morning, First uh, Corinthians um, chapter 1, and this is through, if you guys want to go to this, to uh, the third verse through the fifth verse um, in First Corinthians um, chapter 2, let me see, yeah, chapter 1, second verse, uh, third verse, and it says, And I was with you in weakness and in fear and in much trembling. And my speech and my preaching was not with enticing words of man's wisdom, but in demonstration of the spirit and the power. Wow. That your faith should not stand in the wisdom of men, but in the power of God. Yeah. Do you hear me? In the power of God. Mm -hmm. So your faith, it must not be having faith in man and the worldly things. It's got to be having faith in God that he's going to move and he's going to bring that transformation to you. Mm -hmm. And it is us as vessels that he uses for us to demonstrate this as that vessel, as that role model to our youth, to the people in this world. So they can see as us, as the infrastructure of the Holy Spirit, how God is moving and working because our faith is in him. When your faith is stays in him, it's kind of like I think about Peter when Peter was walking across the water and he took a couple of steps and Jesus told him, come, Peter. And Peter took his eyes off Jesus and turned around and looked at the other disciples in the boat. Hmm. And he started to sink. He started to sink. So I Great. can't take my eyes off of Jesus because I don't want to think in this life today. Because when we think in this life today, let me tell you, these waters that we're thinking in today got more than sharks in them. You follow me? Wow, wow. Mm -hmm. Ladies so, and gentlemen, praise God. Thank you, Paul. Thank you, Apostle Tom. Paul, Tom's fired up, Batman. Batman, he ready. <laughs> Is he ready, Batman? He's ready. <laughs> <laughs> That's what I like it. Amen. Praise God. We do have a topic. Amen. Our topic. Amen. Is spiritual uh, walking in spirit, successful spiritual leadership. Amen. I, I love to hear God and men's on fire for God. Praise God. Amen. Yeah. But as a moderator, we must keep this. Amen. In the perspective. Amen. And in a, in right. a protocol perspective. Amen. Because we do have other guest panelists. But I love this gentleman. Y'all really don't know. We talk on a, almost on a daily basis, and he can go. Amen. That's what we need. We need more more men of God <laughs> yes, like sir. that. We do have, amen, amen. Uh, Johnny Ross, amen. Let's talk to the Lord, amen, and podcaster, amen, Ron Jefferson. Fire! Praise God. We'll get to uh, John Ross first, and then we'll go uh, over to uh, Mr. Ron Jefferson, please. Amen. Good morning, uh, John Ross, amen. Let's talk to the Lord. What's on your mind, Doc? Good morning. Uh, this topic of successful leadership I sure. really, um, I, I really was connecting with that, uh, mm -hmm. with successful leadership, um, with um, a podcast that we did earlier this week with uh, Pastor Laura Charles, and her topic is was is that it's time to rise from Acts the third chapter, and so reminiscing that and 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 um, I was illustrating to the kingdom about the nuggets that um, that I had been given out, and I really didn't realize what I was doing until this particular uh, episode come up, and I began to study this chapter a little bit closely, and how that what we are doing with the youth and with the church is, is giving those nuggets of leadership. It is empowering them to actually get up. To, you know, to take up their bed and walk, and and a lot of times we may not have a lot of money and a whole lot of silver and gold to give them, but man, to give them Christ Jesus and the power of this gospel, and and uh, the power to be able then to carry out their created purposes and be everything that God created them to be is strengthening the nation in doing so. And so 
I was looking a little bit closely here with successful leadership and, and realizing that the church is, is the bride of Christ Jesus, and we should love the church, and the church is the body of Christ, and we should build it up. It was Jesus who gave us this good news of the gospel, but the reality that we face is the understanding of God's kingdom through the presence of Jesus Christ, the King, and we must begin to shift from just church thinking to kingdom thinking. We cannot put the kingdom inside the church. It's the church that is the birthplace for the kingdom. We cannot continue to try to reduce ministry vision to auxiliaries and conventions and departments and meetings and boards and musicals, but we have to begin to ask God through Jesus Christ for kingdom vision. Because when we are kingdom-minded and we begin to seek God, we will realize that there is healing the wounds of in today's society and neighborhoods and workplaces and communities. We have a deeply wounded people who have been hurting and in need of healing. And kingdom life is about God and with God now and forever. The kingdom desires that the discipleship is the key role, and that builds the strength and the spiritual healthiness of the kingdom. I believe successful leadership realizes the kingdom is not a bigger church, but the church is the means to demonstrating a stronger kingdom. Hallelujah. 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 Pastor elect. That is powerful, sir. And that you are, you are absolutely in the book, sir. Praise God. Yes, sir. Thank, thank you for that great vision. Amen. Podcaster and host Ron Jefferson. Fire. Good morning, sir. Good morning, sir. What's on your mind, doctor? Yes, sir. Yes, sir. Good morning. Thank and you for joining let us, Let me sir. just, it, it's certainly my pleasure to be here. First of all, I'd like to just honor God for his presence, for being here with us. Sure. Thank you, Father God, for these great men of God that have vision, that have two bold feet to stand on and declare your word as truth and, and live it. I'm just happy to be here with you all. Thank you, Wonderful, sir. wonderful subject. Uh, I love this man summit because, there is such a great need and such a great hunger for us men to come together and be those men that God created us to be. So I certainly appreciate you all here. Uh, Dr. Kelly, uh, my brother, uh, yes, Jerry Royce, and uh, other two uh, ministers here, uh, you all are what God created you to be. The vision and the success is right there waiting for us. Uh, very quickly, because I, I know we want to get into this subject, but um, successful spiritual leadership. I have to use King David as one of my primary templates because, first and foremost, he is and was a man after God's own heart. That is our first step toward success in doing this kingdom-building work that we're doing. I have a heart for God. We have a heart for God. I may not always get it right, Dr. Kelly, Come on, but I always have a heart that will lead me back to where I need to be, rooted and grounded. We hear that word said so much, but what does it really mean? Well, rooted and grounded, yes, well-balanced. Sensible standards is what ground it is. I have an equal uh, understanding of my faith. It's uh, not so sanctified, not so ceremonious, it's not so religious and stiff that it's not practical, that it doesn't make sense, that it's not sensible. And to be rooted, we all know how plants survive. We have, they have to dig down deep and go and grab on to something, and we grab on to God's Word. So I'm just going to start this conversation off with being rooted and grounded. Success comes first and foremost with our relationship with God. We have to have that heart for God, mm. and then we have to be rooted and grounded 
And that will lead us to the other qualifications that Paul talked about First Timothy that I'm sure we're going to hit on. But that is the first steps towards successful spiritual leadership. We, we have a higher standard. We have a higher moral calling and standard and character to live by. That's the spiritual part of where we are as men of God. So, yes, this is a wonderful topic. I'm, I'm fired up. I feel the fire. <laughs> And I'm happy to be here with you all, gentlemen. Praise God. Praise God. I like that. I like that, uh, Brother Jefferson, Ron Jefferson, rooted and grounded, amen, and Apostle uh, John, Apostle Thomas, amen, rooted and grounded, amen, and the successful spiritual leadership. I like that in particular, sir, and that we got to hear from our producer, Batman, before we get into this topic, amen. Rooted and grounded reminds me of a, a beautiful tree. A powerful tree, sir. Amen. No one knows what that tree goes through to look beautiful. Come on, somebody. Amen. Yes, yes, the roots yes. That's that's under the ground. Can y'all walk with me on that for a minute? Amen. Come on. The roots <laughs> that it plows through the ground. Come on, Pastor Thomas Ron. Come on. Amen. And not only that, <laughs> yes, sir. the sun shine on it, but they still don't know what that tree go. Through. The wind and the yeah. uh. Brother Jefferson, y'all done started something. Y'all done started. That's right. <laughs> Hallelujah. <laughs> Praise God. We yes, see Lord. the beauty of it, but we don't know what that that tree is going through at night. And not only that, Amen. Even our our own bodies. People don't understand that, man. The spiritual leadership, successful, it comes through God. Amen. Amen. Nation, if you're just joining us, praise God. We thank each and every one of you for joining us. Powerful subject amen next man up summit amen successful spiritual leadership praise god we have with us on this powerful panel apostle thomas morrison amen the sanctified soldier podcaster amen. hallelujah john e ross let's talk to the lord remember now thy creator in the days of thy youth and we ask you yes. all to pick up that project amen amen ron jefferson podcaster this is the powerful man of god he's working on some books some movies this brother got some powerful visions some projects that are coming out amen so we thank each and every one of you for tuning in with us amen we really uh yes. we, li- we really would like to just hear from our producer amen this powerful man of god uh nation viewers i just have to open up my heart and share with you all that this that jerry royce is not only a great visionary but he's also a father He's a family man, and many people people don't realize, amen, what his fathers, amen, go to, they literally, literally go through making sure that our children are, are, are spoken to and knowing what's on their mind. Successful leadership, it runs deep, amen. Ladies and gentlemen, man, Dr. Jerry Royce, Batman, talk to it, sir. <laughs> <laughs> what's going on, Pastor? How you feeling today? Well, sir. <laughs> <laughs> yeah, you, you know, I'm right here working, trying to get, get this thing out there. So good morning, everybody. Thank you so much for tuning in. Um, I was looking so forward to this. I know, Doc, uh, we were so close to not having this show. And I said, Doc, we can have the show, you know, because <laughs> he was playing, he was planning to go out of town, but, uh, things change. So we, we, here we are. And we went, and, and again, Ron, thank you so much for answering the call. Johnny Ross and Apostle Thomas, yes, thank you so much. I got a chance to talk to John and yes, uh, Apostle yesterday. And shout out to Stephen Marshall. I got a chance to talk to Stephen Marshall yesterday. So thank you so much, guys, for being part of this panel. And I'm looking forward to this show. Amen. Thank you, Doctor. Yes, sir. Uh, Amen. Uh, gentlemen, how about let's take a, a, bu- a music break, hey, amen. Uh, Batman got something lined up for us. Got some powerful music. I would love to hear some Apostle Thomas uh, Morrison projects or some Dwayne. Hey, got, Batman got some good stuff lined up for us. On the other hey, side man. of this music uh, break, on the other side of this music break, we're going to come back. Hey, man, we're going to be looking at Malachi 2, 1 through 9. Some powerful stuff out of that. And yes, we're going to hit on some First Timothy. Hey, Amen. God got it. Hey, Amen. The men of God, you've already really really gave a synopsis <laughs> amen so join us in a music break and uh on the side of this break brother we're going to get in some powerful stuff and we're going to get in some we're going to get in some uh some personal uh successful leadership on how god uh, allowed us to arrive at where we are and let us not forget the women the women amen right. who are doing the same platform the mighty spiritual women of god the paula g's amen the shea sam's 
Dr. Tornell Stewart, amen. Kimmy Kim, praise God. The list goes on and on, amen. The spiritual spiritual yeah. women out there who are doing the same thing on this platform. Is that all right? Shout out to them, amen. Join us. Yeah, amen. Break, man. Man. Yes, uh, we'll be right back after song break. Amen. <laughs> and uh, Doc, um, we had to rebuild our playlist, so we're going to be we're gonna be rocking um, Harvey um, in a second, okay? All right, this one's called Lift yes, Every sir. Voice. This is by Harvey Morris. Here we go. Yes, sir. This is a celebration. A celebration of a people. Our people. And of the contributions we've made through captivity, racism, discrimination. We've risen. And though those elements are still prevalent today, we still rise. Brothers and sisters, we can't let hardship from the past leave us laying dormant among the beggars. We come from royalty. Kings, queens, that's right. Educators, scientists, inventors pioneering and engineering products that our society couldn't live without today. From the railroad to the traffic light, our culture is rich. So tell the story to our children. Now there is more to black people than how well we sing, dance, and play basketball. Tell them they're African American and teach them the contributions we've made so we can celebrate. Through our tears, we celebrate. Through our battle, we celebrate. By any means necessary, <laughs> oh, we celebrate. So brothers and sisters, on your feet, clap your hands, it's celebration time.
It's going down. Saturday, June 23rd in Yeah, Dad, Greenville, South Carolina. As the National and Independent Gospel Music Association proudly presents the 10th Annual Rhythm of Gospel Awards Weekend. Hosted by Michelle Prather and your brother in Christ, Jamal Bates. Honoring Dr. Teresa Harrison, Pastor Rudolph Stanfield, B. Michael McKay, and National Recording Artist, Kirk Hawk. With special performances by Apostle James Austin and Fellowship, Kara Nicole, K. Morris, Lady T, C. Ashley Brown Lawrence, Come on, clap your hands. Frozen Lot Hayes, Malcolm Williams and Great Faith. Is anybody grateful that he died for you? St. John Divine Praise Dancers, Marquise Williams, B. Chase Williams, and Shabbat. Todd Curry, Carl Hearn and Priesthood, Dr. E. LaQuaint Weaver, and the Hallelujah Singers, and the Kurgimon Community Choir. For more information and tickets, log on to therhythmofgospelawards.com or dial 210-745-5858, extension 102. You don't want to miss it. Praise the Lord. Welcome. Welcome, 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 welcome. Good morning, listeners, and welcome back to Positive Power, XXI.org, Worldwide Christian Media and Music Vision, Next Man Up. Praise God. We thank every viewer for tuning in. I am your host on this powerful platform, Dr. Paul Kelly. Hey, man, we want to give a shout out, hey, man, to Dan, to our uh, sponsors, amen, a few of our powerful and anointed sponsors, Janet Watson, amen, uh, weight loss, praise God, we ask you to check her out, she's an anointed woman of God, amen, Pastors Time International Teaching Ministry, of course, Dr. Kelly, amen, and Dr. Trinell Stewart, amen, also uh, one of our sponsors is Done With Depth Financial Program, this is a powerful documentary, I asked uh, my producer, Jerry Roy, to post that, man, you all want to support that project. All of these these sponsors are very powerful, amen. Go out there and support some of our sponsors, amen. And again, we thank you all for tuning in. And we got a powerful panel that's waiting. Woo! They, these these <laughs> brothers are fired up. <laughs> amen. They fired up, bro. Amen. On this one, on this morning, these brothers are fired up, amen. So we're going to get right, right to this powerful, powerful subject matter. Again, our guest panel is Apostle. Thomas Morrison, amen, the sanctified soldier, podcast and radio host, amen, minister Johnny Ross. Let's talk to the Lord. Remember now thy creator in the days of thy youth and podcaster, amen, Arthur, amen, Ron Jefferson. Also, he's a host of fire. Praise God. Gentlemen, are you ready? We're going to get to the yes. topic, amen. Man. I just want to share with the nation, amen, Malachi 2, 1 through 9, Amen. It tells us what to look at in spiritual leaders. Amen. And I uh, encourage the gentleman, you gentlemen, to go, amen, go, go and just and study this. Amen. This is talking directly to the priests, the pastors, in other words. And these verses are aimed, amen, and I'll go ahead and read that now, your priests. This is actually, God is actually talking to the priests. He's talking directly to Malachi to give a message to, let's just use pastors and leaders, now you priests, this is the command. This, this commanded, this commandment is for you. If you do not li- listen and take seriously the need to honor my name, which is God, says the Lord of Heaven's army. God said, "I will send judgments on you and turn your blessings into a curse." My Lord, indeed, I have already done so because you are not taking t- taking it to heart. I'm going to stop right there. I'm not going to read a whole lot of scripture. I just want the listeners to know that as leaders, as a pastor myself, amen, we go through many, many ups and downs, amen. We go through many toils and and spins, amen. However, we are looked up to as spiritual leaders. And these verses are aimed at men 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 of God. These verses are aimed at the spiritual. It's kind of like lax. You're getting relaxed in your in your ministry or get complacent. So in the Old Testament, I'm going to get to this first powerful question. In the Old Testament, the priests or the pastors, they were to be spiritual leaders of God's people. Can somebody say amen? That's <laughs> right, amen. amen. In the church age, Jesus has fulfilled, he has basically superseded. In other words, he, he has come, amen, to fulfill this mission. He is 
our leader. He is our example. Come on, somebody. Amen. Yes. He is our high priest. He is our all in all. He is our example setter. Yes. Just as you gentlemen have pointed out. Amen. So the first the first subject matter I want to really get into, my brothers, is spiritual leaders must honor God by walking with him and teaching his truth. Or yes. we all know they were in cure of God's discipline. In other words, we are accounted for. Amen. And I want to get right to this topic. Amen. Pastor, Pastor Tom, are you still with us, sir? I am. Praise God. Hallelujah. The Pastor Thomas, he can share he can share a little bit of his time with us and we thank you for his valuable time. Sir, give us these are not these are not actually questions. These are just more of a uh, an awareness in your own walk with God. Amen. As spiritual leaders, we must honor God by walking with him and teaching Amen. His truth, not only to our family, amen, but to the nation. Give us some of your examples in about two minutes, sir, of how you and your spiritual successful leadership walk with God. Come on, somebody. Amen. What, what, are, what are some of the ways you walk with God? Brothers, we don't get this. With this. Amen. And, hey, brother, this, this love, holds us to account, accountability. How do you walk with God? Amen. Amen. Every day I walk with God, the first thing I do to start my day is I get up early in the morning about 4 or 5 o'clock a.m. and I get up my hands and knees and I give a praise and glory. I meditate within his word. Um, you know, that's that's very important to me. It's power and prayer. Um, when I'm at work, you know, this, this for those that don't know what I do, I liquidate vehicles for banks. Um, I'm around a lot of guys that don't. That do, that do not have a walk with God, and that that's a brilliant thing for me because I'm consistently ministering to everybody around me. Just little twos and fuses, just dropping little nuggets on them, giving them love, and you know, letting them know you know God still loves you. You know what I mean? Um, there's a lot of different situations that take place in every individual's lives that allows them to have a complacency either within themselves or or, or what they're doing or who they are. Um, I stay humble. I stay very humble and I stay very meek. A gentleman walked up to me yesterday and um, uh, one of the, the bank directors got irritated with me because I kept stressing to him that a lady did not have the credit or the ability to pay more than what he wanted her to pay. And I told him, well, show me a different vehicle uh, so she can afford what she's paying for. And he tells me, uh, that's not your place. I'm the director. You do what I tell you to do. I said, well, my place is to serve my customer and not put my customer in a bad place financially yes, by buying a car. Mm -hmm. So this example that I'm showing to him is I care more about this lady being able to afford what she's buying because for me personally, by what the word of God says in my spirit is if I go along with this man's deceitfulness because they're around me, that, that, that's, what I, that's what I circulate in. But I don't have to be that person. I don't have to let that spirit, that man of the spirit of that man that is in him, that is not of God, obviously, mm -hmm. interfere with my actions and the spirit of God that is in me. So okay. um, it's, <laughs> it's, it's really uh, amazing that I can still utilize the, the ministry, the word of God, and his spirit that is in me to even protect people that are being attacked um, by others. So my walk with, with the Lord Jesus Christ every day. Hello? Sir, go ahead. My walk with the Lord Jesus Christ every day is to continuously serve and abide in his word, even in my work as 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 car sales representative. Wow. Thank you, sir. Yeah. Your walk your walk with God, amen, is it you start your day off with meditation. I like that. Amen. That's, Amen. That's, that's what God Amen. has in the beginning. Amen. He walked He walked in the garden with, with Adam and Eve in the cool of the day. Amen. Literally, my brother. Amen. And you also said by shining your spirit, amen, on others to serve and right. abide. Yes. That's, that's Man, that's Enoch stuff, bro. That's Enoch, man. Enoch, <laughs> Enoch walked with God. Look out, gentlemen. Amen. I walked all the way to heaven. To heaven. That's right. <laughs> and, I, <laughs> and I want to use that as an example, uh, Dr. Kelly, because, you know, sure. um, a, a lot of times, you know, everybody wants to come um, from the Word, and that's a beautiful thing because the Word is what makes us, and the Holy Spirit lives within the Word and abides in us as long as we abide in that Word. But I also mm -hmm. like to utilize real-life, modern-day, everyday situations that take place 
that we can show ourselves worthy and obedient to God's uh, uh, word and to God's uh, uh, commandments and following these words of, of, of the Lord Jesus Christ and what we do in our action. You know, there's a lot of people that got the word down pat and it's, can, can spit scriptures from left to right. But let's, yep. let's look at the real life uh, circumstances that we go through and how we are asserting ourselves as followers of the Lord Jesus Christ and his word in action in mm. action, by telling Amen. the truth, by being honest, by, by showing unconditional love to people, by not trying to sell a man something more than he can afford, by not trying to push, you know, push things on somebody that they're not ready to receive yet, by just <laughs> loving people unconditionally and, and, and being true, true men of God. Um, and, and I'm not going to go more than two minutes. Cause <laughs> that's okay. <brother. laughs> hey, you know, hey, you see how he put a uh, mood on it. <laughs> bad man, bad man. Uh, we, amen. we don't have to say let the church say amen. Amen. Praise Hallelujah. God. Uh, that, that is exactly what God was speaking to in Malachi. You're exactly right. God now, he has entrusted our spiritual leadership men in God. That's why we're here today. He has entrusted our leadership in the local churches, not only to the pastors, amen, as shepherds of his flock, amen, but among the elders, amen, women of God. And some of our focus on, some of, many of them just focus on preaching, amen. But there is more to it, amen. First Timothy said, elders who provide effective leadership must be in counted worthy of double honor, especially those who work hard in speaking and teaching. I just wanted to kind of point that out to you. That's first mm-hmm. Timothy five seventeen. Amen. They are in other words, there are there are these are gifts. Some are called pastors and teachers, some are called bishops, some are called apostles, some are called uh teachers and that after. Amen. So in these roles they carry on the work of these priests. They carry on the work of God, just as you have spoken. Amen. Uh, Minister John Ross, amen. Let's talk to the Lord, sir. Amen. Uh, doctor, share with us, amen, how your successful spiritual leadership, amen, and your walking with God, what are some of your examples? I should say how has God has empowered you, sir? And just walking with him, amen, in this walk of successful spiritual leadership. We're walking with God this morning, gentlemen. Come on. Hallelujah. Amen. You know what I was found in, in the Word of God that has really um, helped me out a lot in uh, this particular topic is for the bishops in, in uh, Titus, the first chapter, the 7th yes, through the 14th verse, it says, For the bishops and overseer as God's steward must be blameless, not self-willed or arrogant or presumptuous. He must not be quick-tempered or given to drink or pugnacious, brawling, violent. He must not be grasping and greedy for filthy lucre or financial gain, but the, but the must be hospitable, loving, and a friend to believers, especially to strangers and foreigners. The must be a love of goodness, of good people and good things, sober-minded, sensible, discreet, upright, and fair-minded, and devout man, and religious, correct, temperate, and keeping himself in hand, he must hold fast to the sure and trustworthy word of God as he was taught so that he may be able both to give stimulating instruction and encouragement and sound wholesome doctrine and to refute and and convict those who contradict and oppose it, showing the wayward their error for they are mid there are many disorderly and unruly men who are idle vain, empty, and misleading talkers and self-deceivers and deceive Mm -hmm. of others. This is true, especially of those of us, the circumcision party, who have come over from Judaism. Their mouths must be stopped, for they are mentally distressing and subverting whole families by teaching what they ought not to teach for the purpose of getting base advantage and dis disruptible gain and one of their very number one of their very number a prophet of their own said create creating our 
are always liars, hurtful, beasts, idle, and lazy gluttons. And this accounts of them is really true because it is true. Rebuke them sharply, deal sternly, even severely with them so that they may be sound in faith and free from error and may show their soundness by ceasing to give attention to Jewish myths and fables or to rules laid down by mere men who rejected and turned their backs on the truth. Mm. Now, my God, I tell you, when I read that, I said, Lord, that is right Ooh. where we are right yes, now that's fire. in the that was church, fire. in the church when it comes to kingdom and kingdom leadership, because successful leadership is accomplishing an aim or a purpose, and that purpose has got to be Jesus Christ. So with me, that is my goal. That is what I do day by day. I go through this word, and I don't try to uh, pick out a certain person or a certain denomination. I pick out John Ross, and I try to see in what area in my walk in this day can I pattern myself like this. And if I can do it like that, my God, then I know that God will use me or what I'm doing to reach many more. Because in the church today, the problem is is that we there the church wants to be famous, and they look for the stars and, and the bright right. lights. But but what we have to understand is that that in the scriptures it says that God said to Abraham, but God took him outside and said, look up at the sky and count the stars. And if indeed, if you can count them, then he said to him, so shall you spring, so shall your wow. offspring be. Wow. God brought Abraham out of the tent, out into the bigger picture of the <laughs> kingdom. All right, Brother Ross. Thank you. Thank you. Amen. So, Doctor, that is powerful. Dude. You examine yourself, yeah. Mr. Ross, by God's words. And I like that, sir, profoundly. Using. And, and, I, and I picked up something in, in that scripture that you're reading in Titus. Amen. A lot of the things that I see, and this is powerful, men of God, what he just said. Amen. The things that you don't do. Yes, yeah. the things that we should, amen, amen, focus on not doing. Them things that you don't do, we need to pray hard. Come on, somebody, pray hard, yes, amen. We're, we all have sin that comes short of the glory of God. Come on, yeah. somebody, amen. but it's by yeah. grace, amen. God, amen, Paul, Paul said in Romans, amen, for the wages of sin is death. But the gift of God is eternal life. I, I, Minister Ross, that was very profound, amen, because in that text, Titus basically telling they priests, these are the things that you don't do. Leaders, amen. these are the things that you don't do. You, amen, are looking at us. <laughs> amen. Our families, amen. Thank you, sir. Amen. Ron, Mr. Mr. Ron, Arthur Ron Jefferson. Fire. Yes, sir. Talk to us, sir. Amen. Sir, as a spiritual leader, amen, what are, what are some of your examples that you honor God by walking with him? Amen. Share with us, sir. Praise God. And we thank you for your, your patience, sir. Praise God. Talk with us, sir. Well, um, first of all, I began my uh, day, like the minister said, in a very humble way. Because, see, I know me. Y'all know me through my presentation. But God knows me through my orientation, through my internal workings. And he uses us in spite of us. Because, see, we know who we are. I can be very mm -hmm. sanctified when I make my presentation to the world. But each one of us knows about our own internal struggles, challenges, and battles that will come against us, that will try to come in our minds, that will try to uh, promote and provoke our flesh. So it, after he saved me, Minister Kelly, he continues to amaze me. So I understand leadership is a very privileged place and position to be in. I really like first Timothy when it talks about the man of God. If you desire to be the leader, whether in your home or yes, he was definitely talking about in the church, 
Um, wherever you may lead, you have to be blameless. First of all, you have to have that relationship, that heart for God. Then you have to be blameless. That means you have to be innocent, guiltless, irreproachable. Uh, I guess this is appropriate for our political times. You have to be unimpeachable. Come on, doctor. Hey, we have to be one exactly again, Ron. John, say that topic have, again. After he saved me, he what? I like that. After he saved me, he continues to amaze me. Amaze. <laughs> yes, I like that one, Doc. I got that because, one. Because God. I know who I, like I, know who I am. I, I yeah. know who I am. And for God to have blessed us the way he has and opened so many wonderful doors for us, it's amazing because we know uh, what our faults are. We know what our weaknesses are. And yet and still God's mercy and grace provides us with an opportunity to still excel. And it's only yeah. because, like he said, we have to be engrafted into the vine. He is, we are just connected as branches into the vine. And it's only through our awesome God that we even able to just be in positions of leadership. But real quick, one of the things that I noticed after Paul talked about being blameless, he immediately went to the husband of one wife. Now, it seemed like he's skipping around. It's like, wait a minute. Why is it so necessary that the man of God, after being having a heart for God and being blameless, and why is it so necessary that Apostle Paul felt the need to put the husband of one wife in there. Well, what does his marital status have to do with? Well, first of all, we know about the symbolism between Christ and his bride, the church. The church which is so us. the man of God, and the man of God does not have to be married, but if he is married, that is symbolic of the man of God's relationship to the church body congregation, just like our Lord and Savior Jesus Christ okay. is the bride, is the groom, and the church is the bride. There is that similarity. So that puts the man of God in a place of great obligation. You are ministering. We are ministering over yeah. people's souls, which we have yes, to give sir. an account for. Don't you well, know that, that that wife comes as a covering? And you have to be a mature person to be in a marital relationship because it challenges you to step outside yourself for the good of your bride. And that's yeah. what leadership requires. We have to be willing to set aside our uh, hidden agendas, self uh, gratification, uh, impulse for egotism, so that I can be useful and instrumental to God and to the body of Christ. Praise God, Minister John uh -huh. E. Ross, a man starting off humble. After he has saved me, he amazes me. Jesus is the womb, and he is coming back for his bride, which is us, the church. Amen. Apostle Thomas, amen. He walks with God by sharing, amen, with the spirit, amen, his spirit, amen, on his job by setting the example. Minister Ross, let's talk to the Lord. He examines himself by God, amen. He examines himself, amen, by God's word. He, he said, look at Titus, first Titus. These are the things that you don't do. My God, ladies and gentlemen, nation, you you you're getting some powerful stuff, Amen. We're gonna we're gonna take a song break. On the other side of this song break, doctors, I I I'm gonna go ahead and adorn, dang y'all is just doctors, Amen. <laughs> amen. <laughs> Praise God. Praise God, Amen. But God knows your spirit, Amen. We're gonna continue yeah. to walk with God, Amen, on the basis of His covenant and relationship, Amen, with God and life and peace. We're going we're gonna to speak on that on the other side of the break. Walking with God, amen, his covenant, the relationship with God and life and his peace. In other words, God gives us peace uh, that surpasses all understanding. And yes, Malachi, Malachi is really, this, this book, I want to remind you all, amen, from a theological perspective. The men and women of God did not hear from God after Malachi to Matthew. And to many, 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 many years later, many theologians that researched it, they say some 400 years. However, Jesus, God's son, came on the scene. Amen. Malachi said in two, uh, Malachi 2, 4, and 5, before we go to the psalm break, he said, then you would know that I sent this commandment to you, amen, so that my covenant may continue to be with you. 
we have a covenant with God. Next man up, we have a covenant with each other. That's why this platform is significant. Uh, Jerry Royce, amen, the vision that God gave him, this vision is far beyond probably some of us can imagine, literally. That's why I commend him and I commend you, gentlemen. This this is a covenant. This is a, uh, uh, a platform that many people are listening to. That's why it should be uh, conducted properly, uh, moderated properly, and not only that, in spirit and in truth. Gentlemen, I love your spirit. We're getting ready to get real with this thing, sir. Amen. Gentlemen, amen. Join us on this other side of the break. We're going to talk about some covenants, amen, that we have with our family. Literally, our family covenants, amen. Join us in this song break, and we'll be right back, gentlemen. You're listening to Jewish Live Worldwide Podcast. Come night, though the years draw nigh, thou should have no pleasure in thee. Jesus is gone and wipe your ear. He's soon to come. It's never too late. But you give me life today. Do you remember? Come night, for the years draw nigh, and thou shalt have no pleasure in vain. Jesus is calling quite your young, he is soon to come, it's never too late, but you're giving it life today, won't you remember? Jesus is calling, even calling to you. Jesus is calling, even calling to you. Remember, he called from day one. Day one. Remember them times you had the stacks and the guns. Man. Remember them times where everything went wrong and you blamed everyone else with that same old song. You got old. You gotta call Jamaica. Don't let God become paper. Nobody's beyond redemption, man. Jesus can save you. And truth be told, he's a righteous savior. Look, homie, you gotta call it on your life. You heard me right, he chose you. You don't think he knows what's going on, he knows you. Just like you, I was born from sin. Now I'm born again, and if you love me then, you'll find purpose again. Nobody's nameless, man, cause God got a plan. Look, open your heart. If you down and now, God is all you got. He'll lift you up, so remember that creator. Thank you. 
Welcome, welcome back. Good morning, listeners, and welcome back to Positive Power. Double XI dot org, Worldwide Christian Media and Music Vision. Next Man Up Summit. I am your host, Dr. Paul Kelly. This is a powerful weekly summit discussing in important economic and spiritual leadership and empowering today's youth and recognizing powerful spiritual influential influential godly men. Amen. Leaders and women and youth, Arthurs. Amen. Actors, indie gospel artists, entrepreneurs. Amen. And it goes on and on. And those who are making a positive influence in today's millennium. Praise God. I am your host. Welcome back. Remember now thy creator in the days of thy youth by producer, songwriter, minister John Ross and nation. He is with us today. Praise God. We are back with this powerful subject matter. Amen. Successful spiritual leadership. And I want to continue this. And I want to give a shout out to all of our listeners this morning. Our producer, Jerry Royce. Amen. Let's give him a shout out. Batman. All right. Praise all right. God. He is doing a powerful <laughs> job out there. We love him. He's basically literally giving everybody a shout out. <laughs> amen. So we thank him for that. Amen. That's that's what you call a a, a spiritual visionary, and he's always there on time. Can't wash away my sins but the blood of Jesus. Chia, 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 chia. Yes, sir. That robot Batman. Yeah, robot. Yeah, we try. <laughs> we try to download <laughs> Apostle Music, and robot decide to play it. <laughs> yes, that's no right. Apology, roll no that Batman. You roll that Batman. Let's let uh-huh. before we get to uh, walking with God, Amen. On the basis of covenant and relationship with God in our life and peace, Amen. I think you, with all due respect, Amen. We hear again from our producer. Dr. Jerry Royce, amen, on on this very subject matter of his walk with God, amen. Ladies and gentlemen, amen, we, we, uh, we're going to pass this over to a man producer, uh, my producer, and I'm proud to be on this platform, Dr. Jerry Walls, J- Jerry Royce, a, uh, excuse me, I just call him Batman, Jerry, amen. Some folks call him the senior old gospel music, they get him all, <laughs> amen, Batman, but he's my brother, my friend, Jerry. Uh, Praise God. Good morning, uh, Mr. Roy, sir, amen. Talk with us, sir, and just share with us, amen, how your successful spiritual leadership has been in your walk with God, sir. Man, it's been it's been really mind blowing, uh, Pastor. You know, you and I talk all the time about you know spiritual leadership and where God is 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 leading uh, men. You know, sometimes you you know you look at yourself in the mirror and you say, "Wow, am, am I cut out for this?" You know, is is you know mm-hmm. did I come out the right cookie cutter? You know, the right mold. And then you you, you try to figure mm-hmm. out things. You know, God put you here and he see. It's kind of like you think, you, you know, you say, wow, is this a test? Because I didn't ask for this. So you start questioning yourself. And sometimes you question your abilities, not knowing that he's just putting that armor on you. You know, he started out with putting on a pair of gloves. You know, next thing you know, you got the right footwear on. And you say, wow, where is he taking me? So you start really start having a conversation with yourself, you know, questioning your ability to be a leader. And I never, ever in my mind would have ever envisioned this platform being the size it is right now and, and and guiding you guys i don't really say i'm leading you guys i just say i'm guiding you guys giving you the platform because god knows who your heart's supposed to speak to because all of us speak to different people we're leading different people we all right. can't lead the same type of people just like pastor sure. you know he, i know him and i talk about him I said pastor i remember the conversation you had with your wife had with you and you told me Yes, sir. And I was like, wow, that that's big. And look at it now. I mean, she spoke it into the existence. <laughs> and then she yes, came on the show, on Dr. T's show, and said, I think Batman moved me too fast. <laughs> you remember that? <laughs> I think we're going too fast. But 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 he's having fun, you know. So she, so she respecting, you know, where we at right now. So, uh, But she spoke it, though, right, right Doc? She said it. Yes, sir. Yes, sir. 
Amen. I will help me, Gary. Thank you. Yes, sir. Amen. Yes, sir. She 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 spoke past she spoke past his time. Yes. Amen. She said, "Don't don't change that. Don't change that." Twelve years ago, and you talking about spiritual successful. Amen. That's my help me. She said, "Don't change, mm-hmm. nation. Mm-hmm. Don't change it." And I was using it for an email. Amen. <laughs> we were passing a small church in. Uh, I was sharing with Batman a small church in uh, Oklahoma. Uh, next thing you know, my wife said, "Don't don't." Just, just continue to use your your uh, your email address as pastor's time, and I said, pastor's time, okay, <laughs> oh God, just go, just, Amen. The next thing you know, Amen. God elevated uh, us to a man a powerful television ministry, pastor's time, and we never asserted the name in it, Paul or Marcy, whatever. It was just just pastor's time, and it goes, it lines up just as Doctor Jerry Roy said with this. Just being obedient because it, it doesn't belong to us. This is what Malachi. This is what God is talking to Malachi. Thank you, Jerry Roy. Amen. That that. Thank you, sir. We honor that. Amen. amen. And we honor these men of God that's with us. Amen. Apostle Thomas did have to leave today. He had to leave with leave on today, and we thank him for his time. Amen. amen. Gentlemen, let's let's jump right back into this nations. Amen. All uh, all these viewers. We ask you all, the listeners. We thank you for just joining in with us. And go ahead and start sending this message out. This is a powerful message. Go ahead and just just start sending it out. We thank once again our sponsors, Amen. Pastors Time International Teacher Ministry, Dr. Trinell Stewart, Danet B. Watson. We thank our, uh, our honoree, Amen. Dwayne Gott, next man up. Praise God, gentlemen. Walking with God is based on a covenant relationship with God, Amen. Minister John Ross and John uh, Ron Jefferson. When Malachi mentions Levi in the book of Malachi. He is not referring to, to the man, the, the physical man. But I just want to make sure we clarify so people can understand the context and the theology, the context uh, or, or the content of this book. Mm-hmm. He is talking to a line of priests that descended from him, a line of pastors, of leaders, amen, godly men. Although there is no specific text where God instituted a covenant with the Levitical priest over in Malachi 2, 4, 5, and 8, you can find that uh, as I'll read it, amen, Malachi 2, 4, and 5, and 8, then you would know that I sent this commandment to you so that my covenant may continue to be with the Levi, says the Lord of heavens and the armies, amen, and you can go on and read that in your spare time. I'd just like to point those out, amen, but it was in Jeremiah, Minister Ross, Jeremiah 33, 20, and 21, amen, I, the Lord, make the following promises. I have made a covenant with the day and with the night that they will always come at their proper time. This is, this is, how, this is God talking to Jeremiah. Just put yourself in that. Nations, those who are listening right now, just, just listen to that. Jeremiah 33, 20 and 21, this is God making his covenant with us. This is a promise. I have made a covenant with the day and with the night that they will always come at their proper time. Only a few people could break that covenant. Amen. And 21 said, 21 says, could, could my covenant with my servant David, John Ross, that's your boy right there, David. <laughs> Amen. I'm sorry, uh, uh, Ron Jefferson. Amen. That's your boy, David. And my covenant with the Levites be broken. So David, what he was saying, uh, Brother Jefferson, what he was saying in, in that Jeremiah 33, 20 through 21, amen, David, David, amen, would be all means, always have a descendant, which is us. Jesus, all of us to occupy his throne, amen, in heaven. God has made a covenant, a promise with us. Amen. And yes. what I want to ask the nation, the listeners, and the men of God, amen, and I ask my brothers to help me out with this, Minister Ross, amen, and Ron Jefferson, amen, because of this covenant, amen, we also have a covenant with our family. How do, how do, you, how do you all as men of God, amen, and, and it doesn't matter if you're married, amen, or whatever, you, 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 it's mainly if you're single, amen. How do you keep your covenant relationship? Your covenant, your covenant relationship, amen, with those whom God has entrusted you with, your children. Let's just go from there, sir, and let's be transparent, amen. Uh, I want to go to uh, Brother Jefferson on this, sir. 
Amen. How do we yes, keep sir. our covenant relationship, amen, with our children? And that's 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 deep right there. If I say I'm gonna yes. do something, I'm, I'm gonna do it. Amen. Come yes. on, amen. Take it, sir. You, you take that, sir. Amen. We certainly love Jesus, and um, we love the body of Christ, and that is for sure. But our first and foremost greatest ministry impact starts right where we live, right in our home. Because, see, our family are our greatest witnesses. They'll be the ones that can confirm and amen everything that the world sees because they see behind the scenes. They see us when we take off our uh, prayer cloth and our pastoral garments and all of our sanctified uh, customary ways. They know who we are. So we... I have to say it like this. We practice what we Mm. preach right in our home. We make it a habitual, ongoing ceremony within ourselves. We ritualistically show love and exercise our faith. We demonstrate who we say we are to the world right there in our very homes. That's Mm. how we dig down deep into those roots that we first started talking about. We root, we began that rooting process with our family. And then it branches out to our church families because one of the first things that I understood about who I am in Christ is balance um, and, re- and realism and reality. I know who I am. And I'm going to say that I believe we get that balance, too, with the church because I'm old school, Pastor Kelly. And I grew up when our leaders and leaders-to-be had armor bearers. They had faithful men that walked behind the leaders in a very dignified and a very quiet way, taking care of the man of God because we're caretakers. We're servant leaders. We lead by example through the knowledge that we have, and we demonstrate that knowledge with our lives. And we are not compelled by force. We are not compelled by reputation. There is no hidden agendas by it. We receive so much of the love of God and feel so blessed to be recipients of this love. And amazed that God has put us in a place where we can allow others to be blessed by us and through God. It's that flow of God blessing me that I'm able to bless others that keeps us not only fresh, but keeps us fighting the good fight of faith. Absolutely. Balance. Balance. That's that's power. It, it, sir, that, that is that is powerful, sir. Amen. God instituted balance, amen, in his covenant. And what we what, and what you what I'm picking up out of that, Ron Jefferson, and thank you, we have to balance our time. In other words, God did not place us here to neglect our families as a no, leader sir. and as a father. That That's powerful, brother. Man, you need to go ahead and get that book on that, bro. You, you, you can, you can bring, that, bring that one on out. <laughs> it's coming. <laughs> Minister, Minister Johnny Ross, amen, uh, podcaster, amen, talk to the Lord. This is a powerful man of God. I love this gentleman's spirit. He de- definitely has some book in him, too, some artistship. Minister Ross, amen, thank you for hanging in here with us, amen. Walking with God is based on the covenant, sir. Of course, you know that as an apostle. Amen. Man. A covenant relationship with God and life and peace. And as I was saying, when Malachi is talking to the, the Levi, he's not referring to the man, but to the line of priests, the line of people that descendants from him for the most part. Amen. What, what God is revealing to me, sir, and I can share this with the nation, amen, that we have an obligation. We have a commitment. We have a covenant with our families and God. What are what are some of your I should say your closest 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 covenants or promises that you have fulfilled with your families? Amen. Praise God. And, and I know it has to be fulfilled because it's from God. And, or or Mr. Mr. John Ross, it can it can all this also applies to your ministry, sir. Amen. And Mr. Jefferson as well. This this covenant, amen, that God has given you, sir. 
how how has this been effective in your spiritual walk? In other words, stand true to what you have said to follow through. Talk to the nation, sir. Well, you know, Dr. Kelly, you know, this, my rebirth is that. It, that's what my rebirth is actually founded on. It, it wow. is a covenant relationship with God. And we know with covenant, we Ooh. know that it that comes with God gives us what he will do for us. And and then he says, now, this is what I'm going to do for you. Now, this is what I want you to do for me. He said, now, do we have an agreement? Do we agree? And and so I was I was really unsure right here because I said, okay, Lord, I'm entering into a covenant. I'm entering entering into an agreement with you. So what 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 does that include? What's what's involved in? What do you want me to do? And so I think that's the point where we begin to lose right here is because we don't understand what God wants us to do, and we don't understand what all is involved in a covenant relationship or in a covenant agreement with God. And so what I learned was it's, it's um, I began to, um, I had to fine-tune myself. Uh, I would say I had to let go of everything that I thought that I knew when I was a part of Kojic. I had to let all that go. And I had to kind of, of, of just like what I just got to say, and I had to, to leave out the tent, and I had to go out into out into the into an unknown world to to um, connect with God, and then tr- to try to get the bigger picture. Because he said, you know, when you thought that I had abandoned you and left you, you were kind of looking at the smaller picture um, within the church or a um, organization, but what I want you to look at is the bigger picture of the kingdom of God. And so once I begin to do that, and I begin to, you know, get into his word, I begin to seek him, I begin to begin fasting and praying, I begin purifying or allowing God to purify and and take everything that is not pleasing to God out of my life. And so this is where we get into the problem right here, because a lot of times that's going to mean certain things that satisfy our flesh we cannot take into the covenant. We cannot take it into the relationship. So it, it is a little bit of a sacrifice. But, man, it is so well worth it. Now, let me get to the next step quickly. He showed me heaven, my heavenly mansion at the end. So he said, now, this is your reward at the end, heaven. And he gave me a glimpse of a mansion that I thought I was looking at a city. And then the next thing I know, no, that's just one individual mansion. That's yours waiting you. He said, "Okay, so now it's it's like what it's it's like I said in the last episode, walking. Oh my gosh, um, not being wow. walking by faith and not by sight, not be, not being able to see yep. what's coming next, but fine tuning your life with God through Jesus Christ, so that you can." hear the Holy Spirit and obey Him and then walk in obedience and then watch God begin to bring things together into your life and that begins to let you know what is involved in your covenant relationship with Jesus Christ. And that's the reason why I think I find out that that the kingdom life is not so popular um, in in certain parts of the church because over in Mark 10.45 it says, For even the Son of Man came not to have service rendered to him, but to serve and to give his life as a ransom for many. And the kingdom is not popular among the church because in the kingdom we're servants and 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 the greatest in the kingdom is a servant. 
the greatness of the kingdom is humility and service to others because in the kingdom it is the self-denying humility of Jesus Christ that holds the highest ranking positions of leadership within the kingdom. Mm -hmm. The church desires fame and to enter into a world throne um, and to entertain a worldly throne. It's a shame to say it, Dr. Kelly, but the church does not desire to keep the cup of Jesus Christ, which is the kingdom leadership. Wow. You, wow. And, and, and so this is why this is important, because when you keep the cup of Jesus Christ, then what happens is as you begin to grow in your creative purpose, understand me out there, when you begin to grow into your ministry, into whom God created you to be, now you're growing in that thing and in that purpose wow. because you're rooted and grounded in Jesus Christ. You're, you know Him. You're in relationship with Him, to, with God through Jesus Christ. And so now when God begins to elevate you, hello somebody, when God begins Begins to elevate you now you are elevated not because of the bishop that's your pastor but you mm -hmm. are elevated because of who you are in God through Jesus Christ my Lord my Lord good gracious hallelujah amen so God showed you amen in your covenant in your relationship with God amen I, I like the way you set that up you said until we see the big picture yeah. See, God has gifted me to kind of listen with my heart, and I and I and I thank God for that. Amen. I listen with my heart. Amen. As a pastor, a leader, a father, Amen. A national speaker, what it, it doesn't matter. Many times, I really don't say anything until I hear God speak to my heart. Until He showed it to me, He showed you the big picture, Minister Ross. And when you, when He showed you that big, big picture. And I feel the sincerity in your heart, sir. Amen. He showed you heavenly mansions, which he promised us in his covenant in John 14 and 1. Yeah. That's, that, that's amazing, sir. And, and I know it's from God because it connected. It connected with the precepts. It connected with the words. My yeah. God, amen. Hallelujah. Woo. Thank Dr. And Dr. Jerry Kelly, I, and I'm feeling ahead, in sir. my spirit, Dr. Come Kelly, on. I'm feeling in my spirit Come that on. somebody out there that is listening to this broadcast yes, is sir. walking in fear because they think that they need somebody in a high position somewhere mm -hmm. to, to get them to that next level. And so, true enough, you know, it takes somebody that has already made it to that level that has come through the fire, that's come through the flood, that can can help get us to that next level. But it's but it's really important that we don't lose perspective because you can rise to who God created you to be, being rooted and grounded in Jesus Christ and following this word, and God will take you through a crooked path, and he will lead you on your journey to get to be mm. who he created you to be. And it doesn't necessarily have to be somebody of a great statue to get you there, but God himself can get you there. Yes. Good gracious God. Yes, sir. God, he's the only one that's going to get you there. I, I yeah. like this, sir. Amen. Praise God. We're going to jump right into this next topic. Amen. Walking with God. It implies, amen, a spiritual, a successful spiritualship implies uh, a close communion with him. What are we saying? This yeah. is implicit in the term. Amen. Uh, the select men of whom this term is used, walking with God. And I'm speaking nation in a theological precepts. But we're going to keep it plain and simple. Amen. There were men of the Bible that walk with God, Enoch, Noah, and Abraham. Amen. God knew them closely as a friend to friend. Amen. And there's a vast difference between the knowledge about God, and John yes. Walsh, you just said it, and knowing God personally. Yeah. John, you connected that, sir, Mr. Jefferson, y'all. We connected in that yeah. area, man. There's a vast difference between the knowledge about God. You can know mm -hmm. about it, but what is the personal, what is that personal relationship, you know, amen? There's a huge difference between a religious man. Come on, yeah. somebody. Preacher John Kelly. All the sorts of rules and rituals and everything on the, amen, carrying around this big briefcase with the Bible yeah. and all that. There's a vast difference, amen. And we, God, God is ready for us to walk with him as the tears just roll yeah. in my eyes. He, he sends mm. people, 
sends people to connect with us. Walking with God implies a close communion with him. Amen. And I got to get to Jerry. I was going to I was going to bring him on on this. Amen. Many of you don't know this. Amen. But Dr. Jerry Royce is reaching a milestone in his ministry. You a lot of you all don't know that out there. Amen. Even some of those so new who are closest with him. You may not know this. Amen. He is reaching a milestone. Amen. He's at the red. Mm. Come on, somebody. Right. Amen. And many of us <laughs> right. are at our Red Sea. Amen. So it implies a close communion with him. Amen. And I, I, I'm, I'm, we're going to open up this, this last topic. Amen. With talking with God. Talking mm-hmm. with him. Many of you know Enoch. He walked with God all the way to heaven. Come on, somebody. You yeah, didn't see that. Yeah, Amen. Yeah, man. Elijah. We're talking about the first Elijah, not Elijah. His success. Mm. Elijah, he walked with God. Amen. And God brought the cherries. Come on, somebody. Amen. Praise Amen. God. Amen. And here we're going we to get with some real stuff. Sometimes we may not know what God is saying. We may not. Lord, you got me here now. What? Amen. Yeah. I want to just pass this over to you. I want to pass this over to uh, Batman. Amen. And then we're going to come right back around to Mr. Jefferson. Amen. And, and Minister Ross. And we're going to get some final thoughts. Amen. Uh, Jerry Royce, Dr. Jerry Royce. Amen. And you're walking in communion with God. Amen. Even even at even at this particular time in your life, sir. Amen. What are, what are some of the things you hear God speaking to you at this moment, sir, in your communion with God and your successful spiritual leadership, sir? Dr. Jerry Royce. Uh, Doc, that's a that's a big one right there. But I'm going I'm to tell you one yes, that, that the ghosts be telling me all the time. And I, and I remember this in a reading. Can't tell you where I read it. And I, I, I've heard it in many Bible studies. And, um, and you may be able to feel this one. And it's um, one church. You guys think back about that, you know, the coming of the of Jesus. There will be one church, mm. and I think about yeah. that a lot of times because of um, what you and I talk a lot about, and 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 God has has, has led us to, because you I, I tell you guys all the time, uh, positive power was not what it is today. <laughs> I thought what I was having fun <laughs> wasn't really fun. I was just basically oh, hanging on the tail of the devil just dragging along victims. And that's when my dad called me up. My father, my earthly father called me up and he said, son, that is not, I repeat, that is not positive power. And he hung up the phone. And he hung up the phone. Oh, Lord. I tried my my rebuttal, (laughs) but he didn't want to hear it. He didn't say nothing. He just hung up the phone. (laughs) And, and 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 when God oh, starts speaking to you, when you got all that noise, he would his power. He would just shut it all off. He it was so quiet in my studio that I fell asleep while I was podcasting. Mm. I was I was podcasting, and when I woke up, he said, "I want you to buy a radio station." I could hear him clear as day. I said, "What?" Mm-hmm. Yeah, mm-hmm. you, you got to stop playing radio. Yeah, that's what he was telling me. I heard it clear as day. Mm. I mean, it's like I was just here mm. by myself. It's like next thing I know, my friends started becoming pastors, and <laughs> deacons. And <laughs> that's who my friends were becoming. You know, there was no more, you know, authors and and uh, hustlers and you know those kind of people. I was yeah. on the radio. I, I was, got you. It was it was pastors and, and radio spiritual people and people that they want to pray for you want to be your want to be not just your friend but they want to be your family. So that's the kind of stuff that you hear when you're walking down that path. And like we always like Paula G always say that journey. And that's when God told me to produce a show called My Journey. You know, he 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 want he want people to know that. It's all right where you are right now. I got you. Some of us panic and start, mm. you know, you know, making calls and telling everybody. But he got you. You know, That's he's going right. to pick that one friend. That's all you need. You don't need five. Mm. He's going to pick that one friend. And then he's going he gonna, to he gonna find you someone that knows all about what you're going through. And next thing you know. You're looking at glory. 
You, you, he'll show it to you. You see signs of it. You know how that smoke is clearing? And you can see where you're going now, where before you couldn't see nothing? You thought you was by yourself and all the mm. time he was right there with you holding your hand? Maybe he even current you. So, doctor, you know, you and I talk all the time. And, and we know what a lot of our brothers and sisters are going through right now. And, I, mm-hmm. and, 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 and just like the other day, I sent that piece on Dr. King. Dr. King. Dr. King was here for a very short time. It's long mm-hmm. enough to get us where we are right now. Isn't that deep? That's right. Yeah. Long, a king. A king. And all you guys that's on these podcasts, all kings. And we know that the enemy has been trying to derail the, the respect from our women, our children from us by stripping us from our occupations, our, our entrepreneurship uh-huh. spirit, our higher education, trying to give us that I can't do attitude or just trying yeah. to paint the picture that you're nothing telling people that you want to kill yourself when black men don't do those kind of things <laughs> come on <laughs> you know they all know that <laughs> so um because even our city right now is is under a cloud right now because we're talking about a fallen officer who was heading down that wrong path and now it's out there the jury's out there did he commit suicide or did or did they kill him that's what's out there, and nobody mm-hmm. want to say anything. Sure. They put out a two hundred thousand uh, um, dollar reward for more information. That's the kind of stuff they do to mm-hmm. us. So that's why we gotta do what we're doing right now, guys, and come to this platform and not, that's not just pull each other bootstrap up and and the guy behind you, the guy in front of you. But we we gotta think about our families, our children, because that's what the enemy want. He already got some of us already. Apologize, guys. He wants out. He wants our children. If he can destroy us, he can destroy them. Yeah. So we got to stay strong and under leadership, spiritual leadership that, that Dr. <clears throat> Kelly has instilled on us tonight, today, this morning, is where we are right now. We need spiritual leadership, not earthly leadership. He gave us mm. the ghost to help guide us, give you the vision. It just that we got to quiet down that noise, just like... I was entertaining a lot of noise back then, y'all. And just when he quiet things mm. down, look what happened. He birthed this family. Mm. This family. And people are watching us, y'all, and they're listening. Amen. They're listening very carefully Amen. to everything we say. Just like Dr. Kelly said about them sisters. God birthed that program, the Christian party line. You guys listen to that show, all those three, those three women. And, and, and when well, I say fork, apologies, part of that group. That's a that's going to be a very special program, just like this one is. We got responsibility as spiritual leaders. Mm-hmm. Thank you, thank you, Doctor, for giving me that platform. Amen. The Doctor drop, Doctor, you ain't crying, are you? My speech wasn't that deep. <laughs> <laughs> or Doctor, call uh. drop. Oh, that's what happened to him. His car dropped. All right, y'all. Let's go to song break. He be right back. All right. So this is what we're gonna do. We just matter of fact, uh, we we heard a little bit of Apostle uh, Thomas song. So we're gonna go ahead and drop. This one's called Power in the Blood. Amen. 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 We struggle in life, we often do wrong and we seldom do right Parents must fight in front of the kids When they become a baby, they they do what you did The generation comes, goes right down the line Resentment in the heart breeds an unstable mind When we recognize the damage we've done How can you be your father when you never raise your son? Brother propped the brakes before it's too late My daughter was 15 on the first date We learned from mistakes, the wisdom, the truth Jesus Christ can make the old to new. I give him the praise for all that he gave. His son Jesus Christ rose from the grave. Ask and receive his blessing. 
and turn this rum. My pop is Come on, where we coming from? The power in the blood. The power. The power in the blood, baby. My sins from beginning to the end When the Holy Spirit comes in The devil couldn't win After 10 years of sobriety Had a major relapse I fell off and got back The dicta to the crack The Lord brought me back His mercy, His grace He took me from losing the race Back in the first place By faith in the unseen I found what I lost Everything He gave us Died on the cross The loss, the gains, the pleasure All right, y'all Thank you, everybody, for hanging in there. Dr. Kelly is back. We got him back. He's connected. He hears Dr. Kelly. Yes, sir. Praise the Lord. Mm-hmm. Amen. Sorry for technical difficulties. Amen. Thank you, Dr. Jerry Royce. Did I miss a powerful presentation, Jerry? Can you recap that, <laughs> Batman? <laughs> <laughs> Praise God. <laughs> Hallelujah. Praise God. Hey man, we are thank you. We thank everyone for just hanging in there with us. This is powerful. Welcome back to Hey Man, uh, Positive Power Double X I dot org Worldwide Christian Media Music Vision. We are certainly having a good time out here, and I know that you all are definitely enjoying this message. This powerful, powerful platform. Praise God. As I was sharing with uh, you all before the technical difficulties. Hey man. We we have a responsibility to walk with God, amen, and not only that, to commune with him, uh, praise God. We're going to actually get ready to close this out, amen, with some final thoughts, praise God, from our, to give these gentlemen, amen, at least a, a couple minutes to give some po- final thoughts and where can we pick up some of their projects from. And most importantly, we thank you, gentlemen, for, amen, for sharing us with your your spirit, of successful spiritual leadership in your communion and your walk with God. I have certainly truly been blessed. Amen. Amen. Ron Jefferson, minister, Dr. Ron Jefferson, Arthur, <laughs> podcaster. Amen. <laughs> Fire, sir. Tell us where we can get some of your projects and when can we listen to you, sir? Uh, well, my book, Listen to the Man Think for Yourself, you can uh, Google that. It's available on Amazon. It's um, published through um uh, author House, you can uh, contact them and directly. Uh, if you contact me, I'm on Facebook, Ryan E. Jefferson. I will see about getting your autographed copy and uh, get that to you Praise at a very, God. very reasonable cost. At a very, very reasonable cost, the idea is to share uh, the internal mind of men that women still don't know about. Auntie don't know, granny don't wow. know, Kiki don't know, because men have a mentality that we have kept to ourselves. But God has inspired me to share inner knowledge about men so that you all can stop tripping and flipping over the wrong guys and then wait on your Boaz. Be patient, and it'll be worth it. And also, too, God has blessed me with a wonderful gospel ministry called Fire that is being broadcast every Sunday at 4 p.m. Just hit me up on my Facebook page, and you'll see information. There's also a Facebook page, Fire, um, right there on Facebook. Just click in Fire, and you'll see my picture, and just go there and be blessed uh, with some of the greatest gospel music authors, ministers. And if you're out there and you're a minister and an author and you want to be on my show because we interview as well as play awesome gospel music, I'd love to have you come on and be my guest. But real quick, Dr. Kelly, in closing, um, God just wants us to remember where we came from. Leadership is a process. Leadership is a process just like Christian growth called seasoning. Mm -hmm. It's called seasoning. When you put that meal on the stove and put all those favorite ingredients in it, you let it marinate because you want those seasonings to get into the meal. Well, God wants his word to get into us. So we have to marinate our mind in the word of God so that we can be that qualified leader, which is a dedication, which is servant leader, which is humility. You can always identify a successful spiritual leader through his dedication, through his leader, servant God, and through his humility. So please, by all means, be considered. Seasonings take time, take time and experience 
time with God and experience with applying what God has shown us, just like our Lord and Savior Jesus Praise Christ God. did. And in closing, I'd just like to say that please remember that balance is so crucial. We are made in God's image. So that means Amen. we are made in mind, body, and spirit. That Amen. means we are to share our mind, body, and spirit with God, with the church, and with our family. Mind, body, and spirit is for the church, for God, and for our family. And I promise you, you will always find success and be fruitful in God's service. I bless each one of you men of God for allowing me the privilege to come here and share with you all so that we can reach somebody so that they can go higher in Christ. Praise God. Thank you. Thank you, man of God, Ron Jefferson, Arthur, praise God, podcaster, radio host, a man of fire on Positive Power 21.org, Worldwide Christian Media. We thank you, sir, for those beautiful words. Amen. Minister Ross, amen. Your closing thoughts, sir. Amen. Praise God. And how can we get your project, sir? Well, you know, I was just thinking about um, in the next episode of Let's Talk to the Lord with Dr. Laura Charles, it's time to rise. And I had shared with the listening audience about the beginning of my rebirth and, you know, how I felt ready to stop before I restarted, especially when the Lord began correcting me. And because of the length of time I spent in sin backslidden, you know, I used my gift in a very self-trained way because I had not been trained properly by Christ and by God's Word Mm -hmm. and by God the Holy Spirit. So I remember Dr. Kelly getting frustrated and, and crying and saying to myself, you know, I can't do this. You know, I will never be able to get to the place of from constant correction, always in trouble, you yes, know, sir. to yes, the sir. blessing side of God where he was pleased with me and happy to be with me in respect of of Enoch, as you were saying. You know, I didn't want a relationship of of stop doing that. Put that down. Quit quit saying that, etc. But I, hallelujah, I praise God that as I persevered through that and and I began to take off everything that I knew was displeasing to God. I began to dive into that word. I began to just fall in love with him all over again and push through the to tears, push through the pain. And I tell you, I was so glad that I did because the minute the Lord went ahead and, 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 and birthed me into that next dimension, that heavenly, that heavenly uh, dimension that I walked wow. in with him for over a year, I tell you, it was well worth the tears. It was well worth the sacrifice. It was well worth put that down, stop saying that, you know, stop wow. Doing that, you know, it became beneficial for me. It didn't feel good at the time, but it got me into that next that yes. next dimension where I can really have that one on one time with him. So I want to just yes, encourage sir. somebody out there that you know Amen. we have to go through that little bit of a transitional period where we're constantly being corrected by God and we got to adjust this and stop this and 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 sometimes yes, we got to walk alone but I tell you once he gets us into mm. that place where we Come are on. the kind of fruitful trees that is pleasing oh. to him Ooh. my yes. God I tell you the sky is the limit to what <laughs> we can become so I, I just like want to encourage the kingdom out like there that. and and you can get, remember now thy creator, we are it, CD, baby, Google, Apple, Amazon, oh iTunes. We are in every digital outlet center. So pick up that EP, remember now thy creator, and let's talk to the Lord. We stream live every Wednesday at 8 o'clock central time if you want to join us live you can join us live several different ways you can go to wytv7 christian broadcasters network slash wix click on that click on broadcasters click on my picture john ross and you will see that red live streaming line there just click on that live and you will join us live every wednesday if not 
No worries. You can go to iHeartRadio. We upload there. All right episodes now. are there from Season 1 and Season 2. You can join us Praise also God. on Facebook. We have a like page on Facebook. Every episode is there at 8 o'clock Central Time every Wednesday. Also, we have a group page, and you're more than welcome to join our group. There, we also post the link of the live link is there every Wednesday at 8 o'clock Central Time. So you can join us live there. And yes. also, if you want to join the group, you can post about your ministries because, we're again, we're about kingdom building. We're not just about our oh, site. Right now. So if you have a ministry going on, if you have some live um, broadcast that you're doing, or maybe um, you're doing a podcast and you want to get it out there, please join us mm-hmm. on Working On Let's Talk to the Lord Gospel Radio Talk Show. And then once you join the group, you are more than welcome to post events, post your podcast, post links to your oh, music, God. and we just come uh, become a, a real nice, a big community um, about sharing the gospel of Jesus Christ and what we're doing for the kingdom. Praise God. Thank you. Thank you. Thank you, Minister John Rawls. Thank you. John Jefferson, praise God, and we thank our listeners, and we thank Dr. Jerry Ross, amen, for his powerful testimonial as well, and we thank the nation, every viewer on this morning, every listener, God's listeners, we thank you, amen, and on this powerful top topic, amen, it is, it is a deep topic of successful spiritual leadership by walking with God, praise God, amen. I leave you, amen, in prayer. Amen. Uh, before we go in prayer, Matthew 25 and 21, praise God. It brings to mind a song. That, 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 that scripture, amen, is technically talking about when Jesus was talking to the, uh, the, the talents, the, those who had those talents, uh, Minister John Ross and John Jefferson. Amen. He was basically letting them know at the end of that, sir, amen, well done, thy good and faithful servant. Yeah. Literally. Amen. And so I say to you, well done gentlemen. Amen. God is our creator. He is the one who's going to say those great words to us. Amen. It just brings a song a song to me, amen, that was wrote, written by Lewis E. Campbell years ago, many, many, many years ago. He understands, and he'll say, well done. Yeah. So if when you give the best of your service, telling the world that the Savior, amen, is calm, be not dismayed when men don't believe you. Mm-hmm. He'll understand, and he'll say, well done. Oh, when I come to the end of my journey, Hallelujah. weary of life, and the battle is won, carrying yeah. stuff and cross of redemption, come on. he'll understand and say, well done. Oh, oh misunderstood sometime, Ron Jefferson, amen, and John yeah. Ross, amen. We're yes, misunderstood, Lord. but the Savior of sinners hung on the cross. He was God's Amen. only son. Come on, somebody. Amen. To Thank hear you, him Jesus. calling his father in heaven. Not my will, but thy will be done. So oh, when we come, Brother Jefferson, Ron, yes, Amen, and John Ross, when we come yes, to the end of our journey, Reverend oh, yeah. Dr. Jerry Royce, weary of life and the battle is won, carrying the staff and the cross, amen, the redemption, he'll understand and say, well done. Oh, precious God, we come. Oh, God, we come, Father, to the end of this show. Amen. But not, you, Father, Jesus. to the end of your spirit, God. Amen. Yes, we are Lord. walking with you, God, Father. Oh, God, we thank you for allowing us to walk with you, God, and produce Amen. passion and honor in your name, God. We thank you for yes. allowing us, oh, God, to just walk with you in means of listening and obeying to you, oh, God. We thank you, God, for allowing us to just commune with you, oh, God. Thank and, oh, you, God, Lord. Master, we thank you, God, for your covenant just as we spoke on today, because we realize, Lord, that this is not about us. It is indeed about you, O God. And it is like a man, a man going on a journey, as you talked about in your words, O dear God. In Matthew 25, 14, and 21, when you called your servants and entrusted him and his properties to them, O God, you said, amen, and as I say in this prayer, I say in Scripture, to one God you gave five talents of money, to another two talents, O oh God, and to another one talent, each according to his ability. 
And oh God, oh God, oh God, oh God, as you said in that scripture, sir, oh God, you said, then he went to his journey. The man who had received the five talents went at once and put his money, amen, to the works and gained five more. So God, in this prayer and in this script also, the one with the two talents gained two more, oh God. But the man, as you said, and as you talked this, God, you said the man who had received the one talent went off dug a hole in the ground and his master's money. But after a long time, the master of those servants returned and settled accounts with them. And in that scripture, oh God, you said the man who had received the five talents brought the other five. And master, you said, Hallelujah. you entrusted me with five talents. See, I have gained five more, God. This is us right now as we speak, amen. And God, you replied, well done. Well done, good and faithful servant. Yeah, you have been faithful with a few things. I will put you in charge over many things. Come and share your master's happiness. Jesus, oh God, we thank you. We long thank to hear Lord. those words. Well done, my good and faithful yeah. servant. You have, been, you have been good. You have been well. You have done good over a few things. God, we thank you for. We know, God, that you have elevated us. We know it, God, and we entrust this. And we thank you, oh God. In Jesus' name, I pray. Thank you for positive Hallelujah. power. Thank you for this show. Thank you for Jerry Royce. Thank you for John Jefferson. Amen. Ron Jefferson. Thank you for John Rawls, Apostle yes, Thomas. Sir. This is our show. Bless every listener. Bless every viewer yeah. who sacrificed on today, oh God. And Father, we thank you because the doors of your church is open. And someone may come running. What must I do to be saved? We pray that they will believe in their hearts and confess that you are the risen Christ. Because we believe, God, that you got up with all power in your hand. We believe, oh God. And we believe, and you know, we know that your church is in our heart. It is in Jesus' name because you're coming back with the church. It is in Jesus' name that we pray. Amen. Amen. Let the redeemer of the Lord say amen. Amen. Thank you, men of God. Thank you. Thank you. Thank you, listeners. Hallelujah. Go on and shout. Hallelujah. 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 And we thank our producer, Jerry Royce, live. Amen. For thank you. Thank you, Dr. Jerry Royce, for this powerful panel and we thank our, our listeners this is our show amen tune again next week to uh, amen another next man up god bless you and god bless this nation amen thank you everybody for tuning in Jerry Rose, amen hallelujah you're listening to Jerry's live worldwide podcast can you feel the power can you feel the power feel the power of double x Worldwide Podcast. Can you feel the power? Can you feel the power? Feel the power of Double X. Positive Power 
nation, but a liberal.